Hey you! Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my channel. This is Rain Nazelle, and in this channel, I will be talking about perfume hauls, versus reviews, and all that perfume jazz. So, if you will ever happen to like this video, please click the like button and subscribe button, and hit the notification bell as a bonus. Today will be a perfume review and uh, I will be talking about a perfume from the house of Gucci which is the Gucci Guilty Intense and yeah it is introduced as a soft spicy floral perfume released in 2011 and the perfumer behind this is Aurelion Guitchard and a real, I have a lot of perfumes now that uh, is the masterpiece of Aurelian Guichard. Uh, one of that is my favorite, which is the Narcissa Poudre. And as I've said in that video, she, um, she is really um, like a famous perfumer already. So this is the intense version though. It means uh, it's kind of the same scent of the original Gucci Guilty Eau de Parfum but much stronger and powerful okay, let's go with the bottle first the bottle is like a um, gold bar perfume with the famous um, double G Gucci icon and with a like dark transparent um, glass here that you can even actually see the juice inside which is a plus for me and it doesn't um, decrease the sensuality of the design which I love and yeah you can see the Gucci um, name on the top and with the barcode at the bottom the cup is okay atomizer gold good in distribution um yeah one thing i don't like in this bottle is that my fingerprints every time i hold this one always stick to the bottle smudge it which kind of irritating because you know i really need to wipe it now and then after each use see i don't know if this gold one will be you know turned off or something peeled off or something yeah anyway it's still okay i love i still like the bottle which because this is a 75 ml bottle and it can be easily inserted to your bag pocket or even in your makeup kit uh you can which is a plus for me because you can easily do you know a re perfume or respray of your perfume after your makeup retouch for those who always love to retouch so let's go to the top notes uh, after the notes top notes would be mandarin and um pink pepper which is yeah the initial notes that you will really notice on the first spray then the middle notes will be heliotrope heliotrope violet and lilac and yeah the base note would be patchouli amber and yeah patchouli and amber on the first spray where is my i have a little paper i will just put that okay on the first spray the spicy and citrus will be overwhelming and it will really you know like punch through your nose but yeah then it the it the, it actually tones down and disappears for uh, like five to six seconds and i could get the yeah the powdery and the soapiness of maybe of the violet and lilac that is uh the one responsible of having it like a soapy fragrance yeah in the lilac and as it dries down for me it's like the patchouli is uh the one going with the amber 
but the yeah the violet is still there that's why it's like powdery yeah but i don't know the kind of powdery that is still overwhelmed with the spiciness it's really not that enticing for me it's not really you know talking to me that much like if you know me if you happen to know me in my previous channels or in previous videos when i smell powder scent i was really you know jumping in joy <laughs> like that but this one i don't know it's like powdery soapy but strong at the same time and the strongest the patchouli and the amber making it so strong and powerful and the spiciness is still there you know so yeah in short it's like soft um, uh, powdery musky but strong and powerful at the same time if you know if you can get what i mean i can see any girl can wear this one or not any girl i mean mostly it's, it's the kind of girl that has a strong and oozing with confidence you know uh like a boss lady yeah i can smell this one as a boss lady perfume someone who knows and really certain about what she wants and uh yeah on um, i can even tell that it can be worn by men it's kind of unisex actually in my opinion on the downside i don't like the top notes and for me when i sprayed it it's like it will go to the dry down i love the dry down but i don't know it's kind of weird that the open notes are coming back to me you know and staying on my head this is which is kind of irritating for me <laughs> actually it also smells like dated you know like the one uh, the open notes is the one making it like dated perfume it's like it's like a perfume from the 90s or the early 2000 fragrance you know but the downside the dry down is not it's what really is interesting for me yeah so it can be worn during summer i think it can uh, it, the strongness of this perfume is not that bothering to be used during summer um and i also think that a hot or humid weather will magnify the patchouli you know which will make the uh increase the projection of this perfume in my opinion and yeah so if you have are happen to live in a ton hot country um try to use this one i think it's pretty much okay with it and longevity is kind of disappointing for me actually in my skin it will only last one to two hours and that's why i do spray it on clothes and it will give me like four hours max um in my opinion and then yeah just don't over spray also because it will give you that much headache that you don't want you know so yeah so gucci guilty intense it's a strong soapy powdery scent uh floral and uh, it's a boss lady perfume in my opinion so confident one is very confident and oozing with confidence perfume and if you happen to have a gucci um perfume guilty flora bloom or whatever kind of share it in the comment section below and uh, yeah let's stop so see you in my next video thank you and please click like and subscri subscribe <laughs> to my channel and see you in my next video bye